All right, and we are live again. Mr. Play is right on the money. He is, <laughs> he is here right as I'm ready to start talking. Uh, it's uh, episode 31, and uh, we're going to do some more work on the Omega Industrial Sector number 2 city. I uh, think when we left, we might have been in the red just a touch. We're actually now in the green. Um, now that we have these mall levels working a little bit better, the billboard advertising crowns on those two are making a little bit of money. Same over here. We are also have more, uh, whoops, more uh, industrial in the city, which is making us more money. And since we move this, oops, the uh, town hall, we lost some revenue here because that resets those two. There. Now we're actually making quite a bit of money. And I think we'll be pretty good on this. Let's speed things up here. And as we were talking about last time, we're going to do a road that, come, that comes straight under here. Comes out on this side. And we'll probably end up having to move our city hall again. But I'd rather have a working thing here because what I want to do is I want to have sort of a Y or a T intersection here from this road. Ooh, excuse me. So that people can get, you know, to the, the outer ring of, of um, the city. Uh, of that, that inner ring of the out I don't know. <laughs> outer ring of the inner whatever. No sound? You're not hearing anything? Testing one, two, three. Let me know. Uh, I know there's a lag, so let me know. Or if you're talking about game sound, it's probably turned down a little bit. Had enough Omega. Okay, sound is sound is good. Maybe maybe I don't know if you meant game sound or maybe you have um, the video muted. Mr. Play, I do that a lot of times and forget. <laughs> so, so this factory here is producing pretty well. As you can see, we're not making money on on trading. We're actually just importing the stuff that we need. So. We're going to redo this intersection down here. We're going to pause the game first, because we're going to have to move a lot of stuff. I'm going to move this hospital to... and probably these control net facilities. And of course that. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to move. This is going to cost a lot of money. We're going to have to move a lot of this stuff, too. <laughs> and, yeah, if there are sound issues or anything, just let me know, guys. Uh, I, I try to pay attention to the Twitch chat, and I, I can see my settings for Open Broadcaster, so it looks pretty... I mean, everything looks to be going pretty smooth so far, so... Most of them are still pretty much making a profit. Well, we'll work on that after we get this in. Because this was, uh, Kil what, what was his name? Kilty? Kil Kiltly? Sorry, I, I'm bad with remembering names. <laughs> this is his suggestion, though. So I think what we're going to do is come out this way as far as we can. And come out this way like this. Can we do it with three? I think it needs to be four. And then we'll do this. So that way we can ensure we get a straight, you know, thing. 
Oh, oh. Okay. So let's do it like that. Does that look about the same? Maybe even closer. Like that. Let's do it there. And then that can connect. Just make, I'm just double checking to make sure everything's going well on, on the stream real quick here. Okay, yeah. Everything looks good. So, we're going to have this come in some. And then where do we want it to come out? Up here. Like this? Is that going to be... Hmm... Let me come over here some. What if we just do that? Because then I think we can take a road this way. Question mark. Um <laughs> Yeah, let's do it like this. We'll take this out, and this out. We get an even curve here. No, oh, whoops, we need to take that out. Curve is a little funny to me, but it's gonna be it's probably gonna be messed up again when I do this side. Because I think I wanna do it like this. That's actually what I should do here. Just try to match this other side to make it look good. Something like this. Alright, right there. That matches fairly well. And then... I'm going to have this come in at hopefully a reasonable angle. There. Now people can get around maybe easier. Again, question mark. Um, but we'll see. We need to replace our services, though. This is going to be the expensive part. So we had a uh, government. <laughs> so now maybe it goes over here. I kind of like that. Or over here. I mean, honestly, either way is cool. Um... Yeah, we'll put this in one of the four. Do it like... Do it like that. So we kind of play off the road there. Kind of like this road goes into this parking lot. I mean, it doesn't actually work that way, but we can pretend. It's not giving me a center one. It's close enough. We don't need we don't need that because it, it won't be used. Um, you, you have to have the add-on for the mayor's mansion to actually make it be used. They should really make that a prerequisite so people don't plop it and waste like it's like six hundred bucks an hour. And then I think we're gonna actually do police up here. And 
And all these guys need is this stuff. One of these. One of these. And uh, one of these. And we'll give them one of these too. Because we have all our drones in our safety levels. Okay, then we come over here, and we're going to put in our hospital and our fire. Now our fire station, I think the fire station is going to go right here. It's going to be right here. Uh, wait, I actually was right the first time. Come on. Hold us. There we go. That actually works and looks looks pretty awesome. <laughs> but we'll take this. Oops. We will take this out. Put a couple of these in. Put one of these in. One of these. And... Should we just do one? Maybe we should do two fire marshals. Let's do two. Just because I want to be nice. And that's all we need on this, right? Yes. Because drones, if you didn't know... Oh, hello again, Viewing Alpha. If you, don't, if you didn't know, drones um, take care of hazmat fires. Uh, helicopters are a little faster than drones sometimes. But they don't take care of phasmat, so it, it's just kind of belt and suspenders. But it, that's a little little tip, little tip from Tinvac. Tin tin tip. I don't know. <laughs> um. Oh, a hospital. That's we got to put a hospital in. Now the hospital. Oh, it's not gonna let me connect it up nicely to the road like I want to. The hospital's gonna go over here, and let's just do it. Let's just do it like this. Hmm. Yes. Because it won't let me connect the road over here. It would be cool, but it won't. So then I always put one of these on. Try to fit one of these in. Put one of these on. Put one of these on. And. Let's do it over here. And then, this is the part that I, I never really know where to put them. Suppose we can just put two, two over here. Alright. How are we doing for school? We only have two schools, so we are going to be filling them up. We're going to be a little overflowing on school. But I think that's okay because my high wealth cities are going to have like universities and stuff in them, so we'll we'll com commute some of those students. The other thing we want to do here <clears throat> is put in our street cars for this loop in the middle. Yeah. Um. Let's see. We want this and this. And I still think that these two areas are the best, if, if we end up needing a, needing a second one. We'll just, oh hey, multi-plopper, woo! We'll just place those, and this can really go anywhere. Let's see where it looks good. Oh, that's like right in the parking lot, that doesn't look good. Let's do it there. And then let's put in some stops. Probably do one here, one here, and then we'll do one between each of these buildings. Like there, and something like here. We'll do the same over here. Here. 
here. Here and here. And maybe that'll help us in transit. I might even do some streetcar tracks like right here. Um, because Sims walk along those. Uh, or I might just go and, and do the pedestrian menu for the uh, the university. Do the pedestrian walkways. We'll see here. Um, do I need to put any up here? Not at the moment. I'll look into that. We'll, we'll see what we want to do with that. But for now, I think we'll let the city run. And we'll see how the streetcars do. In a couple hours, actually. What's this one? Okay, so we're still having issues with that. And why... Oh, that's right, we demolished all of our... See, you guys are supposed to remind me of these things. We demolished all of our control net facilities. So nobody can take the bridges. Um... Maybe, maybe I'll try to put one, like, at each of these. I can't do it over here. Oh, see, that's gonna mess with this, too. Hang on. Uh, whoops. Control net facility. <coughs> Let's put one... See, that's gonna mess with those, too. One can definitely go here. We need a total of like three or four, I think. Um, kind of want to use up these little spots in the middle, but I'm not sure. Actually, maybe that. Oh, damn it! And the wrong tool selected. <laughs> All right, maybe that actually makes a little more sense. Let's take this out and let's put this in. Put them in, like, right here. And then we'll do the same over here. Hmm. There. And then we'll put these on. I really don't like that these aren't centered. <laughs> Thank, thanks, View and Alpha. Let me know I didn't. I, I forgot to rebuild Control Net. <laughs> A little slow there. Uh. There we go. And one more. Now we should have plenty. In fact, we may, be, may even be able to shut some of those down. There we go. Alright, we have enough jobs to add on these apartment levels now. which will help our commercial as well. Oh, we haven't been checking on these things. Still doing good on power, water, and sewer. All right. We haven't been checking on them, so whatever, they're still fine. And we're not collecting... I mean, we have garbage at the dump. But are we processing it fast enough? And if not... Okay, all those are turned on. 
we'll see what it looks like in the morning again. You know what happened to all our control net? It's like these are not operating or something. I don't know. Something happened here. Most of our students are getting the class, which is excellent. Oh yeah, vehicles. We should have some of those already sent. There's a security incident still? I thought we took care of that. Well, with this running, we do have a lot of people coming through the middle here. And, and we don't have this backup outside of our city for the moment, which is really good. And it's it's 8 p.m. This is about the time that they get from in the city when they're trying to get out. Bad news is that we have a lot more traffic inside the city now. <laughs> well, hopefully that'll that'll straighten itself out soon. People start riding the bus as they get more educated. Although we're at three hats, we're actually doing pretty good. And we're most of the way to another upgrade, but we're not going to get there because we're that's all the people we're going to have in this city. And then, what do we want for a crown? We could switch to the solar crowns and just not use the the power from the other thing, but I don't really care about power from them. Produces 200 megawatts an hour. Let's see, though. 200 megawatts an hour, and we produce 600. So we would be able to sustain the city on four of those if we did all four of them. Plus, they, they, they get extra bonuses from the other... <laughs> Vune Alpha says coasters. I would, but this is not a tourist city, so those roller coasters wouldn't really do very well. Not enough places to ship freight. Hmm. The um the airport is supposed to be helping with that. Like it's supposed to take a bunch of our this is what we want. It's supposed to be able to commute out a bunch of our freight. Hmm. Not sure. How is this doing? Producing quite a bit, so I think it might be time to turn on our other one and just crank up the Omega in this city. And then maybe what we'll do because how much does this cost an hour? Four thousand an hour. And if I put these on, I'm trying to I'm trying to analyze what I want to do here. If I put these on, it would be forty eight hundred. Yeah, we're gonna do this. The amount of electricity versus the amount of money, and not having to use up the um, oil. It just makes more sense to do it this way. Yeah, they can't get into the airport, um, says View and Alpha, and and that's sadly out of my control. I don't know what else I can do to to make this better. As you can see, they're all lined up trying to get up to, <laughs> into the airport. So, I'm really not sure what I'll, what I can do to help that. I do know that you know having more see all the freight that's sitting here at the trade port. I wonder because I could make that all that trade port just all freight. Um, let's try it. Let's try this first. We'll go to this and we'll say use locally, and then we'll go to 
producing drones. Okay. And that'll accept global. And I want to make sure the VTOL lab pads work. But the coasters. <laughs> don't don't worry, View and Alpha. In the next episode, uh, the next episode, the next city rather, we'll have um, we'll have a lot of fun touristy stuff, including roller coasters and tourist crowns, and it'll be good. Still a lot of people coming from the airport, but this traffic is not nearly as backed up. A lot of security incidents at the airport. I mean, you'd think that they might, you know, hire some more security personnel? I don't know. 300 workers, that seems like, you know, not very many people for an airport. Like a whole airport, 300 people? school buses driving along up here. We're picking up almost all our students, so I'm totally happy with that. As I suspected, 178 streetcar riders a day. Nothing. But it's fun to have there, so whatever. Buses, I'm surprised there's so few people using the bus, but I guess maybe with the tower and everything, they're able to walk there easily, because there doesn't seem to be a lot of traffic on the road. Here, let, we're coming up on 6 p.m., so we'll watch the population map. And these are powering the city. Excellent. Which means we can do this. And just, I mean, I guess we can just bulldoze it because it's just going to burn off the excess of what it had. And we have plenty of power. Like, we actually have enough extra, we could fire up a, a fusion power plant, probably. <laughs> we're, we're not going to do it in this city, because we don't produce enough control net. Speaking of, we have plenty of control net. I mean, actually, we probably could power a fusion reactor for a while, but... Oh, time to upgrade. And here's the part that I'm annoyed with about this. I don't have anywhere to put this crap. <laughs> not anywhere that I like, anyway. Yeah, this is like the same size. So what if we move it? And if we move it, where would we move it to? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't think I can do much to this one except this. And really, that's only there because of this. So actually, here, let's do this. We already have approval from the other city for this, so that's not going to hurt anything. Same with this. We're going to swap their places. Or at least we're going to put the trade HQ over here. The Omega HQ. It would be nice to... Maybe we'll put it, like, up against here. Because it won't fit on the other side of the road there. But then... That would look really good there. I can fit one of those over there. Okay, cool. What do we have here? We don't care about extraction as much as we care about commerce. That will work. I do like that idea. Let's see how much Omega we're producing here. And here? Okay. Producing lots of Omega. Just 
still haven't used up our processors here. In fact, let's just export them. Because I want to try to at least get... Where is it here? The drone factory. You're not going to even use local anymore. You're just going to use global. And since it has VTOL, it should just fly in. But we are making plenty of money an hour, so excellente. No, because <laughs> I'm exporting those processors, I can upgrade this. It's too funny. I mean, I'm not sure what we'll put on here, but... Let's see what we need. The petroleum division would fit nicely over here. Are these could fit over here. And they all... Hmm. This one fits, too. But we don't need those. Like, Petroleum Division we could use. Let's put a Petroleum Division. There we go. Now that we've sold those off, let's take this out and put in another freight block. Hey, Chody Wolf. No, this is not the same city. This is Omega Industrial Sector Number Two. This is our, our second industrial city of this uh, section of the region. Let's see here. The mall levels are still unhappy. Hmm. I wonder if it's the parks that I put in. Where's the... Didn't I put parks in these? Uh, I don't have the money to redo that yet. So we're going to wait a little bit until I have some money. And uh, we're gonna do par we're gonna replace those parks uh, with more residential. Question oh, dang it! I keep forgetting to do this. There, Jesus! Now we're making plenty of money. No hazmat fire. <laughs> Let's check this here. Oops. Well, we're still picking up basically all our garbage. I mean, it's like it's noon and our garbage is basically picked up. But it is Omega. It is, there is a lot of Omega in the city, so garbage will crop up from time to time as people throw things away. Yeah, Bune Alpha, um, SimCity, is, it just depends on how much you like sim simulation games and, and working on them. And in fact, if you like watching them more than actually playing them, then, I mean, I can, I can totally understand that difference there. Um, and SimCity not necessarily being worth the money it is. And I, I, So there's always debate back and forth about how much EA is messing up SimCity and vice versa. And to be honest... I think the, the quote-unquote Maxis team, I guess they are now with EA, the, the guys that are really working on, on SimCity, they're, I, I always defend them because they, they put out updates really regularly, and surprisingly this, this offline patch update that's coming up soon is taking kind of a long time, but um, 
they, they've been patching everything regularly, they've been fixing bugs, and yeah, there's still a lot of bugs, but I feel like that, the reason that there are bugs is because EA is pushing the Maxis team to, to put things out faster than, than they may actually be ready for, so... You know, kind of take that for what you will. They probably shouldn't let themselves be pushed around like that, but you never know how much say they really have, so, you know, kind of take it all with a grain of salt, of course, but that's just my two cents on the subject. There's all these stupid tourists coming in. This, I guess I assume they're tourists coming into the city. Alright, you're producing a lot more Omega today. And this guy's going to produce a lot more. How about you? You're getting your stuff from the global market just fine. So let's try this one now. Just from the global market. Because more freight places means more uh, industrial happiness, because they'll have places to, you know, ship their freight. Oh no, we're sick. Okay. What do we have going on for health? We're actually doing pretty good. We're not full here at all. Nobody's dying. Well, one, one death, but... No, I don't. What I don't see are medical drones. Don't medical drones come out of the safety levels? Hey, Rodriguez. Um, I actually don't have an arcology in this area. Uh, it's a, an international airport. The there is an arcology, and you can't see it, and which I think is dumb. They should really show this this stuff. But there is an arcology right here for this the three cities that are over here. Hmm. So I thought that the safety levels had drone had hospital drones. Now can I see a description? I would have to demolish some of these to see a description of the safety level. Hey Cameo, we we were just talking about if this game was worth buying, and it depends on how much you enjoy city building games. I really like it. I think it's worth the money. I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of it. You know, I've played over 800 hours of the game now, so it's that for me. It's definitely worth it. Um, it's it's a, an individual decision, though. Um, let's see here. So I think we're gonna need to do this. Let's take these out, and we need to put in drone hangers. Um, so let's actually take this out and move it. Put a drone hanger here and here, and then we'll put these back in. And we'll put this back in. There we go. Now we should take care of our sickness and stuff in the city a little bit better. I, I really swear that safety levels... Oh, I guess not. Criminals and fires. They don't say anything about sickness. Okay. I guess it is just safety, so... Whatever. Works for me. It is the morning, so let's check this out. Almost 6,000 yesterday. Almost 6,000 yesterday. Okay. Oh, and this one seems to be receiving its resources. Excellent. So let's turn the local deliveries off on this one. I don't know why I get that bug, but I seem to be one of the, one of the few that gets that bug where VTOL resources don't seem to come in correctly. Not enough Omega, we're working on that.
How are we doing for population? Oh, wow, 22,000 available low wealth jobs. That's, <laughs> that's a ton. Hmm. We may end up having to put more mega towers in the city. And I'm thinking they might end up going right in these spots. Since the idea of this particular city is to have all the residential in mega towers. The mega deliveries are slow. Well, hmm. These guys could really produce more. Not enough Omega. So yeah, I think we are going to need to put in two more Mega Towers back here, but we're going to need to save up a little bit of money for that. Because um, they're expensive. And we're going to need to remove the hospital and the fire station again. What's blinking at? Oh, that's what's blinking at us. Let's see here. I think we still have some unsatisfied. Yeah. Putting that in will help with those levels too. Um, this apartment level. What's your issue? I'm really sick. Oh, okay. And actually, we can prep for the mega towers here. Let's move the hospital. I'm going to put it right back here on this road. Another security breach. Jesus. Go like that. We'll put all of our accoutrements on. Well, and actually, I think if I push this back just a little bit, it's fine. Because there's two spots here, so if I use the second one back, I think this fits, yeah, that'll fit a little closer. And then we'll put that on top. And then we'll put this in here. And we'll put this in here. And we'll put this on right here. And then... Do we put these on this side? Let's put these on this side. And let's put all of them in. Let's actually do this. actually get them all to basically look pretty good here. Oops. There we go. Then they all fit in pretty well there. We'll have massive health coverage for the city. And we can bulldoze this one. Now the streetcar tracks didn't really work out. Because I don't think we, I think we still don't have anybody hardly using them. Five riders a day. Okay. So, <laughs> we're just going to take these out. And we're going to take these out. And we're going to take this out. So, we're not going to waste money on streetcars that nobody's going to use. We got one more up here. And then I'll go around and downgrade all the roads here. Yeah, I can't believe nobody uses streetcars, but whatever. Nobody wants to use them, nobody wants to use them. Fine. We won't have streetcars then. is hopefully going to get better here in a minute.
Now this guy seems to be having trouble getting his resources. This guy just got some. Where's the ones for this guy? There's oil coming in. Okay. So he is still getting stuff, just not as quickly. Hmm. I guess the question then becomes, do we put in a trade port just for stuff for Omega? And I guess because the VTOL always comes from the other direction, that th these ones get it last? I don't know. Surprisingly, these four-way intersections don't back up as much as these three-way ones do. I think we have enough money now. Let's move the... Uh, Fire station. We'll actually just put it right up against the thing here. We customize it to what we want. There. Beautiful. And then we'll take this up. And I do believe... I hope I'm not mistaken here. Oh, <laughs> no, I am. I totally thought I could fit them in here. <coughs> Excuse me. That's, um... Not optimal. Kind of ruined my plan there. Because I don't think I have anywhere that I can fit this stuff in the city. Crap. <laughs> so maybe we redesign this back section. So that we can put stuff in here. I'm going to pause this real quick. We're going to take off this section of road and this section of road. And some of this. If we go straight up here, connect this straight in, and do the same over here. Oh, I'm gonna go through that building. Oh, there we go. I could build those all those for a minute. And then we'll draw this straight up that way. All right. And we'll put these in just a little bit closer together. And actually, let's move these last two one more part. <laughs> That's not where I wanted it. There, I want it there. And there. That looks great. Now what do we do to connect this back part? I guess maybe we can just go like this. And then corner out those roads. Because then where do we... Let's see where these are going to fit. 
this is basically what I was thinking is put one on either side of here. Let's do that. We won't build the towers up yet because we will have to save up money for that. But, doing that helps let us know where we're at over here. Oh, and how's... Is this gonna work? Oh, that totally works. Perfect. So what if we corner it here, and here? And take this. Go like that. And do the same over here. It's weird that it's grabbing on in a funny way. There, we're gonna do something like that. And then, where do we want to connect these? Because we can, we can just come straight out. And I think I kind of like that. But we could also go straight up from, like, over here somewhere. And connect in up here. But I don't think I like that as much as just doing this. Yeah, but now that I did this, I can really put these back over here. How many times have I moved these damn fire stations? And... <laughs> Uh, that's just... Let's see, and then does the hospital fit over here like I want it to? Yeah. Alright, last time I swear, last time I moved these. Get a surgical center, I have one! Um, in fact, you'll see me place it for like the twelfth time <laughs> when I replay, rebuild this hospital. There we go. And what are these? And that's all that needs. And we can take this one out. We can also... Do this, and this, oh, not enough simoleons, meh, we make a ton of money, let's just take out some loans here. Uh, this thing, and one of these, and one of these, okay. there we go, put one of these here. Oh, we're almost out of money again. Jeez. Alright, now we got hospital all replaced, and we're about out of money here for a minute. So let's let this run. Make our money again. Yeah, sorry, I had to mute it for just a second. I was talking with my wife. Sorry. <laughs> No levels. That's fine. Let's put our school bus stops in, though. Like that. And put our regular bus stops in back here.
There we go. And these guys can pretty much get to work and stuff. Alright, yeah, I think we're good on all the bus stops and everything. Let's see, we're making our money back really quickly. Alright. It looks like we're going to have to keep these other two on here. And we can let these guys just take it locally. And that way when we open up the third one, we'll, we'll have enough uh, oil and ore. Start paying some of those off. Oh, whoops. Went a little under. Yeah, we had to buy some more. <laughs> there we go. Start paying some of those off. And then come all the buses into the city. And there's, it says the average wait is 51 minutes. Maybe the problem is we don't have enough buses. So maybe we'll have to put a bus depot in the city somewhere. Yeah, our health is getting much better, it looks like. Everything is actually pretty great as far as these all the services go. I'm not getting quite as many students, but I think on the bottom of each of these is going to be a student uh, level as well. Or, uh, you know, school level, whatever you want to call them. Hey, Mr. Play. Um, been doing quite a few changes. There's traffic's doing pretty well. We're, we'll see here at 6 a.m. We did do this uh, intersection here, if you didn't see that. We redid this this whole part and made this uh, an underground city, or a uh, city, <laughs> an underground uh, uh, tunnel to go over here. And we put a couple of these in and redid this back section here. So we're going to start building these towers up when we uh, save up a little bit more money. But we're making 40, 30, 40 grand an hour, which is great. Some backed up pipes. So... Maybe what we'll do is put in our other sewage treatment plant over here. Uh, speaking of, where's our water table? Yeah, so if we put our other sewage treatment plant over here, we should help treat the sewage for the water. I know, it's gross, but they're just sims, so who cares? Oh, not enough money. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, sorry for the spammer. Be, they won't be back. How much of this is Omega? Worker shortage still. Wow. Yeah, we're making we're making lots of money from from what we're supposed to be. We can pay off another one of these loans real quick. And we do need a lot of low wealth people. So this is there's nowhere we're not going to be able to cover this, but we'll be able to get closer when we put all the uh, apartment levels in over here.
And it looks like we're at our hour mark for streaming, so we'll call this an episode. In the next episode, we're going to build up these towers. And here we can pay off our last of our bonds here real quick. We're going to build up these other towers and uh, have some more uh, low, wealth com uh, low wealth residential in the city. And uh, this city is pretty close to being done. I mean, we just need to make sure these grow up and we'll go through and probably spend some of the next episode optimizing the distance between these uh these buildings so that they all grow up to be how big they're supposed to be. So uh, if you like to watch what I do live, follow me on Twitch and you'll be notified when I start streaming. And if you want to watch what I do after the fact, I do always uh, save this stuff to YouTube so you can watch the whole series as a big lump sum if you want to. But I'm going to take a break here for about 15-20 minutes and I'll be back for another hour of streaming a little bit later.